along on this Sunday afternoon in Michigan and the second matchup in a week between the Commonwealth of Independent States and the team from the United States. And this is a popular spot here in the Detroit area and a crowd expected perhaps of 40,000 plus as we are underway now. Without question, it will be the largest soccer crowd ever in this building. The Soviets, the Commonwealth, excuse me, their coach said that they want to control the game immediately. They want to take control of this game immediately. That was the only thing he said before the game to his team. Kind of confusing for everyone in and outside the soccer community to just figure out who the CIS are. But uh, basically, they're the old Soviet Union minus the Baltic states. Here's Eric Winalda. Tries to make a move around. Chernyshov and the foul given. Dominic Kinnear holding his arms up, perhaps a signal of sorts. Often the hand signals by the person on the ball will indicate the play that is on. The bending cross and they score! Ronaldo! How difficult it is to defend on a free kick so close to the goal. On the play there, Dominic Kinnear crossing the ball from the side of the field. Simply not enough time for the defenders to react as Eric Ronaldo runs towards the middle of the goal, redirecting the ball with his head into a basically very difficult to protect goal. Right now, the Commonwealth team is playing minus one player. He was injured in a play while we were away on a break, so they're having to make a tactical adjustment in order to play a man down while the game continues to go on. Ball played into the box. Murray after it, the shot taken. The CIS player away from the play being treated so the Commonwealth right now playing a man short. Shot taken from outside the box and that will go wide. Uh, at least this point in the first half, Rick, that the CIS defensively is somewhat more wary of the American forwards than they were a week ago. Here's an opportunity for Kiriakov. Cuts it back through the middle. It is Oleg Sergeyev with the goal. It counts. It came just as we were returning from our break. A great ball through. Sergeyev may have been even with the last defender. A letdown by the United States team to have that much space for a player to receive the ball on a pass heading straight towards the United States team's goal. Qualifier for the U.S. You saw the number there. Meantime, action inside the zone. A shot, and I believe that was blocked by Balboa, who had fallen down behind Miola. Balboa a little slow to get up. CIS on the ball. This is Tetrazzi. Crisscrossing with Mondreco. Tetrazzi launches one from 25 yards. Laterally across to Doyle. Janusz Mahalik. Nice ball up for Acosta. Jorge turning, crossing far post. Kinnear there and a header just over the bar. Acosta over to Winalda. Eric waiting. Sees Murray. Nice run by Bruce, but it's cleared out from in front. Chris will chase it, but a good breakout by the U.S. Now the cross, the header, yes, and it's oh, just wide oh, as Ronaldo and Acosta got crossed up. Quinn, he has it, looks for Henderson. Chris on a bad bounce, puts it right back through the middle. Quinn a drive, and it's high. Laura talked to him on the sideline. He wants more vertical runs by Sorber. And one of the, the U.S. has spent most of this half in the CIS end of the field. We have a penalty kick, Matt, and it's going to go against the United States on a foul inside the penalty area. Oh, no, check this. It'll be for the United States, I mean. Here's, here's a look at the replay now as it came into the box. And, Rick, I guess they're going to call it right there. Marcelo Balboa, who was stopped on a penalty kick by the other CIS keeper, Dimitri Karin, last week in Miami. And he scores! Randy, you got to love Bora's confidence in the players that he has because instead of making a change with a player that missed a penalty kick a week ago, he goes right back to him. I think he sees some of the energy sapped from his team here in the second half against an inspired American team. Here's a chance for the Commonwealth. Cross from the left side, up in the air, Sergey, and it's clear. While we are away, time ran out, and the United States gets the victory, their first of 1992.